unity through diversity, embracing our differences to overcome adversity and achieve redemption. The most effective way to dismantle harmful ideologies is through transforming belief systems. Engage with those around you, in your community, and enlighten them with truth. From now on, view yourself as a mentor, a beacon of guidance for your community. Embrace the role of an educator, sharing the wisdom of the Torah with steadfast bravery. Rest assured, the Divine Presence surrounds you within and all around, ever-present. This means there is no place devoid of the Divine. In sync with this Divine Presence, you have the capability to challenge and transform opposing ideologies into allies through enlightenment. This task is deeply rooted in correcting age-old misunderstandings. The historical misinterpretation of symbolic stories has unintentionally led to the formation of differing Abrahamic religions. These misunderstandings arise from ignorance and the belief of having knowledge superior to the divine. If we had remained firmly connected to the divine teachings, our collective path towards redemption would be much further along. Our current challenge is not fought with physical arms, but through spreading knowledge and celebrating our innate diversity. This diversity, akin to our distinct fingerprints, underscores our individual and collective significance within the divine scheme. Acknowledging and valuing our differences leads to unity, enabling respectful and gentle conversation despite varied beliefs. My hope is not to defeat the spirit of opposition through battle, but to dissolve the idols of falsehood, turning adversaries into allies. This vision for the future begins today. Hence, step into your role as a spiritual leader, for you are meant to guide your community towards enlightenment and reunion with the divine. This mission goes beyond geographical and cultural boundaries. It speaks to every individual, encouraging them to recognize their capacity as leaders and educators in their communities. We are all future leaders, charged with steering our communities towards a world of redemption, a world where adversity is surmounted by embracing diversity, allowing us to prosper in unity. This path involves reconciling our differences and clearing the misconceptions surrounding the Torah caused by misinterpretations of myth and symbolic stories. These misunderstandings have led to the development of various Abrahamic religions born from confusion and distrust due to historical inaccuracies. This effort, then, is not just educational but a deep spiritual awakening calling individuals to rekindle their bond with the divine and each other, fostering a community where unity triumphs over division and comprehension resolves conflict. The onset of redemption begins on a deeply personal level, unfolding within each individual soul. I encourage you to allow the divine to redeem you in this very moment. Allow yourself to become a vessel for his radiant presence, a presence that epitomizes the essence of truth a light that is one with the Torah. Embrace his teachings and allow them to imbue your being. As you stand at the entrance of your home, open your door and step out with the firm belief that you, in your distinct role, embody the Messiah. You are not just an educator, but a lighthouse guiding your community towards salvation. Let this profound realization deeply embed within your soul and continuously drive you forward. This marks the beginning of our collective journey towards redemption. Do not fear the physical threats posed by humanity, but instead hold your awe and reverence for the Almighty. Recognize the sublime beauty of the Creator, who loves you unwaveringly, who has never left your side, and has always stood by you. It is us who have wandered away, not the Divine. Our transgressions have blurred our vision, concealing the constant presence of the divine that is always before us. Embarking on this journey may feel daunting, perhaps overwhelming. It's conceivable you might think yourself in need of further preparation or perhaps even protection. Yet, the truth that stands before us is unprecedented. The world has yet to witness the emergence of its Messiah. No preparatory program has been perfected for such a purpose. In this moment, you become the embodiment of that preparation. Divine protection is bestowed upon you by Hashem. 
It's acknowledged with certainty that no financial hardship or health crisis befalls us without the express consent of Hashem Himself, for He reigns supreme over our sustenance and our well-being. The Divine Presence, the Shekinah, the Divine Presence already resides amongst you, all around you, with you. Therefore, it is imperative to approach this with humility, to refine oneself not with anger or wrath, but with love. To harbor the desire to adhere to the positive commandments laid out in our Tanakh, rather than fixate on the prohibitions that were conveyed by the prophets as a means to guide us back to the Torah. Let this essence define your existence, allowing Hashem to work within you, speak through you, and act on your behalf, so that redemption may manifest through divine will. Hashem, our eternal sovereign, our true Messiah, whose name we exalt, is the Redeemer of this world through His boundless compassion. And this compassion is manifest today, evidenced by your engagement with this message, a testament to His divine providence and mercy. For reasons known only to Him, He has led you to this juncture, personally delivering this message to you. Take this to heart, for before the foundation of the world was laid, Hashem contemplated your role, a role of profound significance within His creation. Thus, prepare yourself to be a receptacle for the divine illumination He intends to bestow upon you. Should you be unprepared, the metaphorical vessel that is your being might fracture under the intensity of His light. Hence, the paramount importance of character refinement the eradication of anger and conceit from our being is emphasized. For humility is the key that unlocks the gates of redemption, a humility that fosters mercy, acknowledges diversity, and in turn cultivates unity, a unity that vanquishes division, transforming foes into brethren, thereby fulfilling the divine will. It's crucial to understand that the actions we undertake in these moments are pivotal, determining our passage through redemption. This message is not to alarm, but to inspire, for you possess the key and have been summoned to embrace your redemption. Now, let your Messiah redeem you, that you may assist in the redemption of the world. May this message resonate within your soul and echo throughout the cosmos. Let us pray for redemption to unfold swiftly with each passing day. Amen.